What's going on, you guys? Dwayne here with How to Build Credit TV, and I am back again for another How to Build Credit TV live stream. In this live stream, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the U.S. Bank Altitude uh, Gold Visa Signature Card. Uh, it's a mouthful. There's a lot of names. Uh, there's a lot of words to say to get that correct, but it's a U.S. Bank Altitude Gold Visa Signature Card, credit card from U.S. Bank. It's one of their new credit cards, and this card was supposed to be out um, a while ago, but due to coronavirus, they kind of pushed back uh, releasing this card. So in this video, like I said, I want to go ahead and talk about that particular card. But if you're new to the channel, on this channel, I normally talk about credit credit cards and how to make money using credit cards. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Uh, in addition, I've been talking about my journey in regards to the stock market. So if you're interested in that as well, be sure to subscribe uh, to the channel and so that you can kind of see my journey in regards to the stock market, which is going pretty okay right now. I really can't complain. Uh, it was off to a rocky start, but now it's a lot better. So um, I want to go ahead and do some talking about the U.S. Bank, uh, U.S. Bank Altitude Gold Visa card. So this credit card is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, it doesn't have any annual fees, and I love that when it doesn't have an annual fee. That's what I'm all about. So as you guys are coming into the live stream, be sure to hit the thumbs up in this video. If you're watching this back on the replay, be sure to hit the thumbs up. It helps me tremendously, and I would really appreciate it a lot. Today is June 8th. It is a Monday. Uh, this is my birthday month, so be sure to smash that thumbs up in the video. I see a lot of you guys joining in the chat. I will say what's up to you guys in just one second. So I'm going to share my computer screen here with you guys uh, just so you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, okay, so I'm sharing my computer screen currently, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the card here from U.S. Bank. Uh, let's see, uh, this is it 10 hours ago here. Let me, I'll just click on the US Bank website here. Um, this is this is not the right card, but I'll click on credit cards and then I'll click on uh, credit cards overview, maybe. Okay, sweet, here we go. So here's the card right here. Not a bad looking card, it's one of those vertical deals. Um, I have a credit card like this. It's my pedal credit card that the information is on there kind of vertically. So as you guys can see here, it's a pretty nice card. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to apply for this card. Now, I shouldn't be applying for any cards because if you guys have watched my channel, I have quite a bit of inquiries right now. I have between five and six inquiries on all of my credit bureaus. So um, I definitely should not be applying. But I'm curious to see what's going to happen because I do have a credit card with U.S. Bank and this would be my second card with them. So I'm going to apply just to kind of see if they would give it to me, even though I have, like I said, five or six inquiries across all the credit bureaus. So it'll be pretty interesting. But one of the things that I like about this card is the fact that there's a decent sign up offer. Um, I don't remember my sign up bonus when I joined. I want to say when I joined for the uh, U.S. Bank. Uh, Cash Plus Visa Signature Card, I think the sign-up bonus was like 150 bucks. I don't remember the minimum spend. So this one here, it says you can earn 20,000 points, which is a $200 value, and you're going to earn these points by spending $1,000. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different categories here on the website, okay? Um, and you can see that it has... What's it? This says cashback. Okay. I was like, what? Cashback? Okay. So this is a very new card, right? So today's June 8th. Um, this card is very new. This is hot off the press. Um, this card does not have any annual fees, which I'm excited about. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the learn more here so that you guys can see a little bit more. We'll take a look together. So here we are at the site. Um, and as you can see, it, this is what I like about this card. This is a no annual fee card and you have the ability to earn four times points on takeout, food delivery, and dining. Now, that, that's pretty much telling you that you're gonna be able to earn four times points on food wherever you order the food, however you choose to get the food, whether you ch choose to do takeout, whether you choose to do food delivery like Uber Eats or the other food delivery services, or for dining. So you're able to get four times points, which I think is very powerful. Uh, you're actually able to get two times points at grocery stores, grocery delivery, streaming services, and gas station. Now, this is huge. So that means streaming services would include uh, Spotify, of course, Netflix, Hulu, um, streaming services. You know what I mean? That's a pretty broad 
uh, spectrum of where you can get two times points uh, and in addition to that you get two times points at the gas station and grocery store so I think one of the things that I really like about th this card is the fact that there is no annual fee that's freaking huge um, and then of course you get one times point on everything else so once again there's no annual fee then of course there's a low intro APR it talks about 0% APR on purchases and balance transfers for the first 12 billing cycles after that uh, it's going to be a variable APR which is currently between 14.99% and 23.99% uh, it talks about streaming bonuses here as you can see it says a $15 credit for annual streaming services purchases such as Netflix and Spotify so $14 $14 Fifteen dollar credit, fifteen dollar credit for annual streaming services. Um, I mean that's not bad. You know what I mean? Like it's something. You know, and I think that's kind of that's cool. Um, so as you can see, they they have a little deal here where you can kind of guesstimate. Like if you spent you know three hundred dollars on uh, three hundred dollars a month on food, um, you know you could get X amount of points back, and they they kind of show you the amount of points that you can get, so on and so forth. Which is pretty cool you can play with that and kind of see if you guys like that now another thing that it talks about here is the fact that the points never expire so it says points never expire let your points add up for as long as you want they'll never expire now that's totally up my alley i like for my cards my points and my cash back to add up uh so that way i can feel and see the power of it i'm just ocd i'm a nerd like that i like to nerd it out um i i never use my points as a statement credit and certainly not when I have like two dollars and change I normally let it accumulate to like over a hundred dollars before I decide to use my points so that's pretty cool that the points never expire as we speak I think I have over a hundred and fifty dollars on my US bank cash uh, plus card right now so I'm excited about that there's no foreign transaction fees which is actually very very big especially on a credit card um, that is from US bank um, uh, some of these credit cards do have foreign transaction fees, which I think is pretty silly, but it's not standard that you have no foreign transaction fees. So that's pretty cool that they don't have a uh, foreign transaction fee. Of course, they're talking about their mobile app, which I do have. And then, of course, they also tell you that you can redeem your points instantly. So it says, enjoy a streaming bonus on us. And so they're talking about Amazon Music, Pandora, YouTube TV. It says you can binge. It says you're binge watching and music streaming will be rewarded when you use your Altitude Go card. You'll earn two times points on streaming services, so that's like getting 2% back, right, which is really cool. And then it says, plus, we'll, you'll receive a $15 streaming service credit after 11 months of streaming purchases. So that is also cool. You get two times points, which is getting 2% back. Um, I personally don't have, <laughs> I personally don't pay for streaming services. Uh, of course not, because I'm cheap. Uh, I'm just laughing because it's not because I don't have the money. It's just because uh, that's how you stay with money by not spending it. Um, so, yeah, um, that is pretty much this card in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this card. The U.S. Bank Altitude Go Visa signature card. It's a lot to say, right? Um, but I think it's decent. The sign up bonus for spending. Uh, $1,000 in the first 90 days. Now that's not necessarily a great sign-up bonus, but it's it's not bad. And most sign-up bonuses uh, on a card like this would probably be like spend $500 and get 150 back. However, those cards don't necessarily give you the earning potential that this card does with the four times points on takeout, food delivery, and dining, and then the two times points on grocery stores, grocery delivery, streaming services, and gas stations. That's pretty freaking cool. So I think that I think that's really cool. The sign up bonus just being one thousand dollars in the first ninety days is totally attainable, and you're going to get back two hundred dollars. So you're basically getting twenty percent of your purchase back, which is really really cool. Um, I think it's a very solid card. Like I said, I think I'm gonna apply for this card. And of course, I will be sure to keep you guys posted. Let me know once again what you think about this card in the comment section. And uh, I'm going to jump into the chat now and say what's up to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in the video. And actually, thanks again for smashing the thumbs up. I see we have 32 thumbs up with 56 people in the live stream, 58 people now. If you haven't smashed that thumbs up, please be sure to do so. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, thank you guys for sitting through that first 
chunk of the video here where I kind of tried to do a video about the US Bank Altitude Visa. Go, go Visa, signature card. There's too many words. There's just way too many words uh, to say that card. It's, it's a mouthful. Um, anyway, so let me jump into the live stream here and kind of say what's up to some of you guys that have been patiently waiting. I uh, appreciate you guys here. Let me get back to the right screen. Jesus, I'm having the hardest time. Uh, let's see here. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys had a good weekend. My weekend was really good. Um, the stock market stuff was very interesting. And um, it's it's very weird. I've, I'm beginning to see that I am playing myself by letting go of some of the shares that I bought with different companies. Um, I would have been a lot farther along with my profits if I had just sit still. But of course, hindsight is 2020, and it's uh, the stock market, man. It could be intense, especially if you look at it the way that I do, um, because of course, it's it's not my intent to lose any money, right? Like I don't want to lose any money. Uh, but that um, it's been going well. It's been going well, and I will be sharing my experiences with you guys moving forward. Hey, Devin, what's going on, bro? Thanks for stopping by the channel. Appreciate you. Cinema Madness, what's going on, my brother? Christina, thank you so much for stopping by. It's a pleasure to see you again. Reginald, hey, 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 yes, sir. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Yadili, Dili, forgive me for butchering your name. Thanks for stopping by. Sean Perry, what's going on, sir? Miss Williams, hi, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. G Dobbs, nice to see you as well. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Reginald says, any good card to apply for right now for a person who flies one to two times per year? Um, I mean, one to two times per year is not necessarily a lot, but if you want an airline card, go for it. I think one of the best cards that you can get would be the Delta Gold Sky Miles card. Um, you should consider using my referral link. Um, definitely the Chase uh, United card, if you wanna fly United. Both of those cards are really good and the sign-up bonuses are pretty okay. Um, the sign-up bonus goes in and out from like being a really, really good sign up bonus to being an okay sign up bonus. So like when you do your research, like just be patient and wait to kind of see, um, you know, what the different bonuses are. And you could also try, sorry guys, I just ate a pizza before I did the video. Um, you can also try um, researching what, what like the highest sign up bonuses were for the car that you're interested in. Renard, what's going on, bro? Thanks for stopping by the channel. Appreciate you very much. Um, Cinemadness says, Dwayne, I'm glad I made it and had a question if you could only re something. I'm not sure. Um, evening, everyone. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I appreciate you. Muhammad, what's going on, bro? Thanks for stopping by. I spoke to you right before I did the stream. Miss Gatlin, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Haven't seen you in a while. Cinemadness says, Dwayne, I'm glad I made it. I missed most of the last two streams. But I had a question, if you could only have a relationship with one of the two, would it be Amex or Navy Fed? Come on, man, that is such a trick question, bro. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Amex, and the reason why I'm gonna have to go with Amex is because um, I have quite a bit of cards with them, right? So Navy Fed is really good for generous credit limits, and um, they only have like cards that I'm interested in, really three. Right, so they have the cash rewards, which I have, which is a cash back card. They have the more rewards, which is a card that you get points, but you can use it as cash back. And then they have the flagship, which gives you the ability to earn two times points on all your purchases, but it has an annual fee of $49. Um, so I, I like Navy Federal's cards, and I definitely like their credit limits. You know, I have a 5,000 and a 25,000 and a 25,000 credit limit with Navy Federal. So that's $55,000 of available credit limit. And then American Express, um, I just have a lot of cards with them. You know, Currently I have five credit cards with American Express and two charge cards. And then I have a lot of points um, on my American Express that I can use my MR points. And then of course on my Delta cards, I have a Delta Gold and a Delta Platinum card with American Express. So. I'm just gonna have to go with American Express for the fact that I just have more variety of cards from which to choose. And then the points, um, as far as like how many points I can earn, I can earn a substantial amount of points and the sign up bonus with, with American Express tends to be better. So I'm gonna have to go with American Express, but that was a good question. What would you do between American Express and Navy Fed? Let me know. 
let me know in the comment section. Um, cool. All right, Star Rose, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by the channel. I appreciate you very much. Uh, T Lemon says, which credit bureau does US Bank pull from? Great question. I want to say TransUnion. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. That should be something that I know for myself though. I'm pulling up my credit karma to see if I can figure that out. That's just That should be something that I know because I, like I said, I really am thinking about getting this card. Um, it's not like it's a card that I have to have, but I'm curious to see how easy it will be or not easy it will be to get another credit card from US Bank since I already have one. It's going to be two years old and um, I'm just kind of curious to see if I'll get approved for it even though I have a lot of inquiries. So that'll be kind of cool to figure out. Um, I'm looking here at my inquiries. I don't see it under Navy Federal. I mean Navy Federal. I don't see it under uh, TransUnion for my US Bank. Um, maybe it's maybe it's too old. Maybe it's too old. Um, okay, I do see it here under Equifax. I do see it here under Equifax. Uh, and I see the inquiry from 2018 when I applied for uh, my US Bank Cash Plus and then back in 2019 when I applied for a business card. Uh, I don't know if I should I don't know if I should try to apply um, because I did do an application with US Bank in 2019, December 2019. Ugh. So I totally forgot about that. So I'm seeing here that they pulled from Equifax. For me, I'm not sure about everyone else, but for me, they pulled from Equifax. And right now, my credit score with Equifax, this is according to um, Credit Karma, is 763, which is not bad. Between, uh, is this Equifax? That's TransUnion. This is Equifax. Equifax is a little higher. So my credit score with Equifax is 770, uh, which is not too bad. Camera focus here. It's a 770 with Equifax. So like I said, they did use Equifax to pull for me. I'm not sure what it is for everyone else. So let me know in the comment section if you guys, if it's pulled from someone else. Devin says, I'm looking to see if I can get a product change to this card because I currently have two cards I mainly use for balance transfers, even though I earn rewards. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious to see what they will do. I don't really know a lot about US Bank and their product change. Um, as far as you know how easy that is to do D Anderson what's going on my brother thanks for stopping by the chat it's a pleasure to have you here as usual my man um, Star Rose says I need to stop feeling bad about my credit yes you do absolutely um, you know what's interesting about this whole stock market adventure that I've been on recently is the fact that like it's amazing how bad I feel when I miss some money somewhere else and I have to learn how to let it go and that's kind of crazy because for me that's really really hard i have issues in that department so um it kind of to be honest with you it kind of consumes me but like when something consumed consumes you uh like that it's normally not good and it's not healthy so if you can you know let it go and do what you can do and this advice is going to myself as well that's normally the best thing to do of course i know it's not easy because i know pretending to myself it's not easy in regards to the stock market or whatever it is I choose to obsess about. But um, yeah, you know, only do what you can do and, and kind of keep pushing forward. Jordan 23 WW, what's going on? Says good evening, Dwayne and credit family. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a an awesome day. Um, actually, it's kind of funny because today I actually, I think I walked six miles today. Yesterday I did seven. Saturday I did eight. Um, I don't remember if I did anything on Friday, but I've walked. I, I did. A, I did. A, I did a lot of miles uh, this week, partially because my birthday's coming up this month, and I'm like, I want to be, you know, sort of okay looking and and health wise when I turn 42. Because if I turn 42 and I'm like 240 pounds, I'm I'm not gonna like that too much because I I like to reflect on my year like before my birthday, and uh, so um, I've been out there trying to hustle. To, to get it going so I'm doing well even though I ended up eating pizza before this live stream but at least I'm moving I'm doing some exercise so we'll see Ulysses what's going on man thanks for stopping by the stream I appreciate you wow we have 77 people in the live stream please be sure to smash the thumbs up in this video if you're watching and more importantly if you have questions feel free to ask your questions here in the live stream I'll do my best to answer it 
as soon as I see it. Uh, G Dob says, "Hey Dwayne, as I told you, I got a card from uh, uh, Navy Federal. Uh, I have a checking and savings in the open uh, ACD. Please let me know. Uh, it's good to open an American Express card, huh?" I'm not exactly sure what you're asking there, uh, G Dobbs. Um, I'm not sure if you're asking about the more rewards card from Navy Federal, but let me know exactly, please. Uh, D Anderson says U.S. Bank pulls TransUnion. I have three cards with them: U.S. Platinum Visa, Cash Plus Visa, and a U.S. Uh, Bank Altitude Reserve Visa. Um, yeah, and like I said, I I knew that. I felt like I thought it was TransUnion, but I didn't see it on my TransUnion, and that's kind of weird. I, I did see it on my Equifax, though. So I wanted to pull that up and show you guys. Uh, Cinemadness says, hey, Dwayne, like button smashed. I have a great question. Knowing you love both and have a relationship with Amex and Navy, if you can only have one. Yep, I answered that one uh, earlier. Alexander, thanks for stopping by the stream, says, I'm still sticking with the Wells Fargo Propel. Uh, as next card, more versatile and same sign-up bonus, I think. No, listen, that is a great card. And that card was definitely on my radar as far as uh, one of the cards that I wanted to get. Partially, too, because the card is metal as well. But um, I haven't had a relationship with, with Wells Fargo in a while. And I think one of the draws to me as far as the U.S. Bank uh, Altitude Go Visa card is... Uh, the fact that I already have an account with them. So I think it should be a little easier. Now, honestly, I already know I should not be applying for this card from US Bank. Uh, like I said, I do have my inquiry from August 2019. I think that's what it said when I double checked here. Uh, I think it's August 2019 is when I applied for that card. And uh, with Experian, with Equifax, I'm sorry, it pulled from my Equifax. It's August 2019. I'm just double checking here. Um, and then I did another credit card application on December in 2019. So I had an application with them uh, in 2018, August 2018, and then another application December 2019. So I really know that, like I said, I should not be applying uh, for this card, but I'm just kind of curious how easy or not easy it will be for me to get another credit card with U.S. Bank, seeing that I already have one. Mikey T, thanks for stopping by. Says, Dwayne, do you have your annual fees waive on any cards? Uh, no, I don't have my annual fees waived on any cards. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to get them waived. Um, I guess I guess if I think about the fact that I have a YouTube channel and people use my referral links, uh, I guess I can think of it as my annual fees being waived because people use my referral links to sign up and get credit cards. But I don't think of it that way, which is kind of funny um, because I do have to pay taxes on that at the end of the year. And it still feels like the money's coming out of my account. You know what I mean? <laughs> so so I don't think of it that way. Uh, Luis, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by. It says, what's up, big dog? Sorry I'm late. Hope I didn't miss much. No, sir, you have not. Uh, awesome picture, by the way. I'm going to I'm have to get that shirt, man. You, you sure you don't want to send me that Popeye shirt, bro? That shirt is clean. Uh, okay, this person says, hey there, I was actually going to apply but did not. I'm starting to build my credit, so I applied for the Cash Plus Visa with my mother as a co-signer. Cool. Um, I think the Cash Plus Visa is a great card. I do have that card. I like it a lot. I think the earning potential on that card is really, really high because you get to choose two categories where you can earn 5% cash back and then one category where you can earn 2% cash back. So I think it will be very, very easy to kind of maximize that. Mohammed says, North Carolina in the house. Yes, sir. Um, I'm assuming, I don't know if this is a guy or girl, but whoever lock it, thank you for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you. Says, what's up? Love uh, live chat. Awesome. I appreciate you stopping by and saying kind words. Jay Shaitan, what's going on, man? Says, uh, Shaitan checking in, bro. I just got the Hilton Honors Amex. Already reached my minimum spend. So I got the 75,000 Hilton Honors points. Awesome. Congratulations, man. Um, believe it or not, I do have a lot of Hilton Honor points, Hilton points, and I haven't even redeemed any of them yet. Um, I need to probably start using my points with American Express just in case something happens, you know, um, where I somehow end up losing the, the points. But I do have a boatload of points to use with American Express. But congratulations to you. That is awesome. Devin said, I recently got a credit limit increase 
I did online with a soft pull for my more rewards card. Awesome. Awesome, Devin. That's cool. Congratulations, man. That is really, really cool. Um, I did not know that it was going to be a soft inquiry for a credit limit increase with uh, Navy Federal, or at least if I knew, I didn't remember. What's going on, Andy? Thanks for stopping by. Secured Credit Academy in the house. Said, uh, oh, at D, I would disagree with the idea that uh, U.S. Bank is a transunion pool. They seem to state different. I've gotten four pools and three USB products in the past year, all Equifax uh, pools in Texas. Yeah, we're right, because I'm in Texas as well, Andy. That's a good point. So um, we do know that there are different bureaus that credit card companies use based on what state you're in as well. Um, a lot of us, including myself, sometimes we speak very absolute about um, this particular card pulling from this bureau. Like when I talk about American Express, it's always they pull from Experian because that's my experience as well and a lot of others also. So good point there, Andy, for sure. Uh, Rod, thanks for stopping by the channel. I appreciate you, bro. It's nice to see you again. Um, Star Rose says, you will get the card. You got excellent credit. Um, I do have excellent credit, but I have way too many inquiries, so I will not be surprised if I don't get the card. Initially tonight, I was going to talk about inquiries, so I guess I'll do that video at some other, uh, at some other point. But um, no, I, I'm not necessarily going to be qualified or guaranteed to get that card. I do have a lot of inquiries, and that alone is plenty of reasons not to get the card. But of course, I'm going to make a video showing the application process, of course, and if I get approved. And then if I don't get approved, I will be talking about it. So either way, you guys will know. Reginald says, guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. Yes, Reginald, I appreciate, I appreciate that, man. What's going on, bro? Thanks for stopping by the channel. I appreciate seeing you here. I'm not even going to try to say your name. <laughs> Win Twin says, Dwayne, what's good, man? I am here. I'm in a great mood. It's another Monday, another awesome Monday. Um, today has been very interesting with the stock market. Um, overall, a good day. It's very weird. My experience with the stock market has been a lot of great days and I really think that's because the stock market is trying to get back to where they were before coronavirus. And as a result of that, people are just buying up a whole bunch of stuff and it's just ended up being really, really green for me. Uh, it's actually very amazing how much money I've missed because I just could not sit still. Like literally, if I had just sit still on like two accounts instead of jumping around, you know, like, I think I've made so far in three weeks, I've probably made, um, I'd say like 15 to 20 trades in three weeks. And I've profited, you know, I normally don't sell uh, unless I'm gonna make money, okay, that's the first thing. The only time that I sold uh, shares in the stock market was when LTM filed a chapter 11 bankruptcy, which is like a restructuring bankruptcy. And I was scared because that's what you're supposed to be when there's a bankruptcy but their shares are already back up past where it was when I bought it before they filed bankruptcy. So I bought it at $2.65. They're already at $3 right now, which I'm really, really pissed about, but that's just what it is. So um, so it's, just, it's very interesting. I mean, other than that, I'm doing really well and I'm trying to keep a very positive mindset because uh, in reality, the big picture is that the fact that I'm up a substantial amount of money um, and I thought I had lost, I did lose a lot of money. So uh, I'm doing really, really good. Uh, Ms. Gatlin says, Dwayne, I've been working 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I'm at work now. Man, you are hustling. That is tough. Hopefully that check is looking real good, Ms. Gatlin. <laughs> I hear you. That 12 hour shift is not easy. That's for sure. Hey, Seuss, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Says, not me, 701. Because Star, Star Rose says, how many in here got 800 credit score? I don't have an 800 credit score. And Hey, Seuss is saying he does not either. He has a 701. Tyree, what's going on? Tyree T, what's up, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, D. Anderson says he's in Virginia Beach. And in Northeast, they pull from TransUnion. Uh, he's talking about U.S. Bank. They pull, some, pull from TransUnion. Chambe is also saying that they pull from TransUnion where he's located as well. Uh, D. Anderson says he's at a 770 FICO score. Awesome. Mohammed says, when removed from authorized user, is that going to affect my credit history or the credit history stay on my report? Some, some of those will stay on there. It just depends on that particular card. Um, I've heard people say that 
it has stayed on there but in general most of them do fall off so it will fall off of your credit and you will lose the available credit limit right so if somebody adds you to their card uh, and it's not one of those cards where it stays on your report you will lose the available credit limit if they add you and there's like a ten thousand dollar limit you're gonna lose a ten thousand dollar limit once you're removed but hopefully by the time that you're removed you're able to at least get the credit card that you were added on as an authorized user so if somebody adds you on their discover card um, you know hopefully before you get off of the card or before they take you off of the card you're able to get your own discover card as well because you kind of established a relationship through being an authorized user and now you have your very own card and you can kind of build your way up and you know do your thing uh, Lisa love beauty thank you for stopping by I appreciate you thanks for stopping by the stream Ronald, what's going on, man? Says uh, YouTube once again didn't notify me that you went live. They want me to have bad credit. <laughs> hey, man, but I appreciate your consistency in deciding to check if there's a live stream anyway. Um, today I was running a little bit late just because I was stuffing my face. And then um, before I start these videos, I got to go in here and uh, input information and put a description and put some keywords so that people can discover this video so uh, it's a process and I, I started a little late but I'm here and uh, that is the good news JP what's going on man says God bless you brother this is JP awesome I appreciate you stopping by the live stream I appreciate you a lot uh, Devin says besides the Apple card you have a video for Apple also a Visa card with Barclays which I've I've had for almost six years um, I don't have any Barclays card actually I got denied for the Barclays arrival plus thank you guys for smashing the thumbs up I saw I got a couple of thumbs up there I really appreciate it please smash the thumbs up in this video it helps tremendously please smash the thumbs up um, yeah I don't have any Barclays cards because at the time of my application I already had six new accounts in a 24 month period and Barclays has rules in regards to like Chase has 524 so if you've applied for six uh, cards uh, in the last 24 months um, then it's very unlikely that they're gonna extend credit to you and I had a 781 FICO score and that was on my TransUnion uh, profile because they sent me the letter telling me why I wasn't approved but my credit score was 781 which is actually it was higher than the 781 is clearly higher than than my TransUnion score is right now All right. Um, let me know what you guys think about that card. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think about that U.S. Bank Altitude Go Visa signature card. So much to say. U.S. Bank Altitude Go Visa signature card. Um, U.S. Bank definitely has a, a deal with signature cards and Visa cards as well. Um, that's their deal. Uh, let me see here. Nicholas, what's going on, man? Nicholas says, hey, Dwayne, how long does it take for a payment to be credited to your credit card account? I made a payment this morning and it's not reflected in my available yet. Um, that just depends on, it depends on the whoever's processing. Um, most of the times I would say one to two days, not even two days, at least 24 hours. Um, I would say before you kind of see that, but it depends on the credit card. Uh, some cards give you credit, you know, they'll show it. Um, like instantly which is kind of interesting um, but I think I feel like most of those cards would be like a card that you have a bank account with like a checking account and you're transferring the money from your checking account to the credit card um, that's kind of when I noticed that you might see like an instant credit type of thing so don't freak out man it'll get there Tyrone what's going on bro hey Tyrone I'm surprised you didn't ask me if I'm getting this card the US Bank Altitude Go Visa signature card so much to say um, I'm surprised you didn't ask me because you're always asking me which card am I getting um, look at this D Anderson out here boasting look at him 46 year old man I'm 175 and I have a six-pack I'm happy for good health yeah dude that's that's what it is for me too right so like I talk about my my weight I need to lose weight you know I'm, I'm, I'm saying it for health reasons not for vanity reasons right like I mean I'm not an ugly looking dude period but at the same time I know that uh, being you know 200 pounds is gonna be better for me than being 240 pounds and me being 200 like I'm not a tall dude but 200 pounds on me 
uh, probably looks too small for a lot of people. A lot of people don't necessarily want to see me at 200 pounds, but I definitely want to get there for health reasons. Cinemadness says, I'm so close to getting the 0% utilization currently at 4% and me having to wait for my five inquiries to drop off is going to seem so long, but for you personally, what's the longest inquiry stayed on? Um, the, some of the inquiries do stay on for two years, period. Uh, when you go to Credit Karma, you can click on TransUnion or Ex Equifax. Then you can click on the Heart Inquiries section and you can see, uh, you can select the card that has the inquiry and it'll tell you when it's supposed to fall off. So some of them do take two years, which is really sad. Um, for me, I'm just not even worried about it anymore. Um, I, I'm, I'm not even concerned. Like I think honestly, even though I have a lot of inquiries, I think if I needed to get like a loan for something very important, I think I would still be okay, even though I have a lot of inquiries because my credit score is pretty high. So, you know, I feel like I would be okay, but, but I'm not sure. Carlos, what's going on, bro? I haven't seen you in a while. He says, I like what the person said about learning, not a feel bad about his or her credit. I stopped feeling bad about it a long time ago. Positive steps going forward is the best recipe to remedy that. Yes, sir. 100% amen. Let the church say amen. Yes, sir. You are so right. Um, Avia, I hope I said your name right. Forgive me if I did not. Says, how soon after opening an account with Navy Fed can you apply for the credit card or personal line of credit? Um, so in regards to the credit cards, you could see if you're pre-qualified on the website. You can just go to, you can log into your Navy Federal account and then go under credit cards tab and then click it. Then you can scroll down and it should say, do I pre-qualify? And then you can click there to see if you pre-qualified. If that doesn't work or if you can't find it, you can call them up and ask if you're pre-qualified for any of their cards. If they say, yes, you're pre-qualified for all of our cards, that means they're referring to the secured card and then the other unsecured cards that they offer. And then, of course, at that time, you can go for it. Um, if you're only pre-qualified for the secured card, get the secured card. You know, put like three to $500 in your savings account and open a secure card with Navy Fed and use that card a lot and then in about four months you can apply for another credit card that is unsecured and you should be good to go star Rose says i have bad memories with wells fargo wells fargo has been good to me but um i remember way back in the way back like maybe 1999 um that i had a secure card with them and i had it for a year and it never it was never graduated and i didn't know a lot about credit cards at that time and certainly not about the secure card but it never graduated and I didn't like it. And I was like, man, F this. And I closed the account, even though I'm sure I didn't have like a large balance on that card. Uh, let's see here. g -Dob says, my question is, I have a Navy Federal credit card now. I have a checking and savings and an ACD. I want to know, is it a good time to apply for the American Express card now or should I wait? Um, you said you have a credit card with them now. I would wait at least four months from the day you got your credit card with Navy Federal before applying for another credit card. I would wait four months at least and see what your score is doing as well. Luis says, uh, my experience with Chase, I messed up my relationship with them four years ago and settled the balance. Do you know if they give second chances? Um, four years, I feel like is going to be too soon. Um, I think it will be uh, a lot easier for you to try to get a relationship like seven years minimum after, after it was reported on your credit report, right? So like if you messed up the relationship, but it wasn't reported for another eight months or even a year after, it really starts from when you, from when you, um, from when it was reported in your account. So you can't go off of the last time you missed a payment. You got to go off of when it started to be reported on your credit uh, and then the next thing to do would be to get a checking account with them. So like even though you don't you can't necessarily get a, a credit card account with them now, you want to get a checking account with them and um, make sure you sign up for that two hundred dollar you know free bonus that you get with that account. Um, be sure to to email put your email address in, uh, get your your code, whatever the code is that they're going to email you and take that code into the branch and open that checking account. So you, you have plenty of time. I mean, you, you got like three years, 
But either way, I would think that that would be the best way. If you don't want to wait three years to get that checking account, you can get the checking account now. And if you do have the, the account and you see inside the Chase app, you're scrolling through the app and there's like offers for me. You can click on that. And if there's a credit card offer for you inside the app, then I would say go ahead and try your luck and apply that way through Chase to get a card. It has worked for me um, and it has worked for others as well. So that's my two cents on that. Uh, Cakeology, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. I appreciate you, sir. He says, the dawn of credit. What up, Dwayne? Yo, thank you for stopping by, Bob. I appreciate you very much. I see you out there hustling, doing your thing. Listen, guys, if you're watching, please be sure to go by Cakeology's channel and subscribe to his channel. Click that notification bell. Go by uh, Andy's channel, which is this, uh, it's Secured Credit Academy. Go by his channel as well and subscribe. Thanks again for that $10 super chat, Bob. I appreciate you very much. Um, scrolling back up here. Uh, hey, Miss Harris, I see you in the chat here. He Ebony, hey. I don't know if you're still here now, but hey. <laughs> um, let me scroll back up here and see where I'm at. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Finally found it. D. Anderson says, the build of credit is brick by brick. Five years ago, I was at 465 FICO. Now I'm 770 FICO. Don't ever give up. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, I, I have never had a relationship with Wells Fargo until they open a checking account that I knew nothing about. <laughs> uh, that's that's so you so you still don't have a relationship with Wells Fargo then. That is crazy. Star Rose says, how many American Express cards uh, you have? Um, I currently have seven. I have seven American Express cards. I have the Bonvoy card. I have the Hilton Honors card. I have the American Express Gold Delta. I have the Platinum Delta card. And then I have one more credit card that I can't think of off the top of my head. There's five credit cards that I have from American Express. Um, looking through my cards right now because I kind of have them right here. Um, oh, the Blue Cash Everyday card. Jesus, how can I forget that one? That was the first one. So the, the, that's five credit cards. And then I have the, the Gold uh, Charge Card and the Platinum Charge Card from American Express. So you're no longer able to have five credit cards. Now it's four credit cards and ten charge cards, which... I mean, I don't know that there's 10 charge cards that you even want to get from American Express. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tyrone got approved for the U.S. Bank Secure Card. Awesome, bro. Congratulations on that. Uh, Secure Credit Academy. This is the channel I was talking about. Be sure to go by his channel and subscribe to his channel. He's starting to do videos about credit cards as well. Uh, it says, follow up to the annual fee waivers. What about retention offers? Do you ask them why or why not? Um, I The only person I've ever asked about a retention offer was American Express for my Amex Gold card, my Gold Charge card. Um, I haven't really been paying a whole bunch of annual fees to even ask. Um, so I think I paid like the annual fee for the Bonvoy, Bonvoy card, which was 95 bucks. I paid the annual fee for my Delta Gold card because I it wasn't way for the first year, so that sucked. Um, and then I paid the annual fee for the Delta Platinum because, of course, that's the Delta Platinum right off the bat. And then the American Express Platinum card. Uh, so I haven't necessarily had the opportunity to to contact them about their retention offer, but I will. Anthony, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, says, who does U.S. Bank pull from? So basically, a lot of people have experienced that they pull from TransUnion. It depends on where you're located. For me, they pulled from Equifax and, I was, and I'm located in Houston, Texas. Francisco, what's going on, bro? Says, hey, Dwayne, how's it going? Smash that like button. Yes, sir, I'm doing well. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Love your profile pic. Giovanni, what's going on, bro? Says, what I miss? What time did you start today? I started at 7.10, 7.11-ish. Uh, it was supposed to be at 7 o'clock, but I was running late. Running late. D. Anderson says, shoot my experience. Have 15 inquiries and Amex approved me for the Blue Cash Everyday card last month. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm talking about, right? So I, I know with American Express, once you're in, you're in. And most people normally have a good experience. The The best thing to do once you get an American Express card, especially if you're just starting out, um, you're technically able to get um, 
technically able to get like three credit cards in a in a 90 day period but i would not encourage that um and and probably not going to be the case now especially since they just chopped off one of their credit cards now you're only able to get four credit cards all together so i have five cards i don't think i'm going to have a problem i don't think they're going to reach out to me and say hey you need to get rid of one of your cards because i already have five cards right so i don't think that applies to people that already have multiple cards with american express but um yeah i mean that's the good thing about american express and that's what i'm going to learn about us bank if it's possible for me to get approved for a card with them a second card because i already have a relationship so we'll see i'm very curious to see what happens with that uh jeff what's going on man says yo Dwayne, just got my last card of 2020 amex blue cash preferred great for groceries and gas easy sub to hit yeah absolutely that sign up bonus um it's it's i think it's a great card it's a solid card uh i was considering uh, upgrading my blue cash every day to the blue cash preferred and they were going to give me $200 after I think it was like $250 after spending a thousand dollars that was the offer that they were going to give me to upgrade my blue cash every day to the blue cash every day preferred but I didn't do it because I already had too many annual fees Wow, we have 102 people in the live stream. Well, we had 102 people in the live stream. 77 thumbs up. Be sure to smash the thumbs up in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Jordan23WW says, Dwayne, I've heard from people. If you sign up before applying for an additional Amex card, there's no inquiry. When I use a referral link, I lose the offer. If I sign in, any known workaround? Um, I think it has a lot to do with how you come across the initial offer, right? Um, the best thing to do is get the offer however you can get it. And if you can get it by not using my referral link, sweet, get the, you know what I mean? Like get the sign up bonus, you know? Um, but I think like initially too, like if you, you know, play around and try to use a private, private browser or the incognito tab. Um, that would be a decent way of kind of shopping around and seeing what kind of different offers you may see So it could be tricky, but like I said um, Do whatever is best for you, you know, wherever you get the best offer if, I mean a lot of times it has to do with if people are gonna be patient, right? And if that sign up offer is really good and you can't refuse it then go for it But if it's not a good offer because you've done your research and you know what a good offer is for that particular card Then you, you know, I would just encourage people to wait wait and take their time on that Um, okay, I'm not sure. I don't think this is for me, but he says, I'm at 10 months with my U.S. bank uh, secured. Uh, did yours auto graduate? Okay, yeah, I guess he's talking to D. Anderson uh, because I did not have a, a U.S. bank secured card. Um, I feel like I feel like it's going to be like an auto graduate thing. I don't think you can call them and, and like speed that up. Kenneth, what's going on? Kenneth says, Detroit in the house. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, sir. Cinemadness says, I know this might be an, an interesting idea concept, but imagine a tier, uh, three-fourth Apple card with an annual fee that has Apple Music, TV, uh, Care Plus, iPhone upgrade program, iCloud, uh, etc., etc., and 2% using the physical card. Yeah, I mean listen you should have been the one that decided what Apple did when it comes to their card but uh, you know Apple's Apple Apple uh, they have a good product they are masterminds at marketing and um, they really kind of screw people sometimes but we don't argue especially if it's a if you're an Apple snob like myself and you know you just kind of take it and move forward like it's it's the weirdest thing um, like for me i know i was telling my son he just graduated high school i have a high school graduate my 17 year old son graduated high school which is crazy because you know i vaguely remember my high school graduation but i remember graduating right so it's kind of cool that now i have a son that graduated but um i'm telling my son you know uh don't remember where i was going with this um brain fart i don't remember where i'm going with that Oh, I was telling my son I was going to, uh, I was going to get him a phone. And he was like, oh, I want the iPhone, which is funny because my son is an Android user. And I'm like, what? You want the iPhone? I've been trying to get him to come to the iPhone for the longest time. 
my daughter and I have an iPhone and his mom has uh, Android. So I'm like, dude, whatever, Android, you know, trash. So anyway, he said he wanted an iPhone. And so um, I'm probably going to be buying both of us the newest iPhones and I'm going to use my Apple card. Uh, hopefully I get 3%. I think it's 3%, right, for Apple products. Uh, so I'm a little excited about that. And I think I think I might pull a real pimp move and just pay cash, just pay all of it, just mm, all at once instead of paying the $45 a month because I kind of really miss my cell phone bill being like $68 because last, the last time I got a phone, like my, my, my cell phone is like $117 with Sprint. Sprint doesn't have good service, but I do like the cheap cell phone bill, and I kind of miss my bill being like 68 bucks. So I think I might just pay for all of it, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, I'll get my little 3% cash back with Apple Card. Devin says, if you get a limit, if you get a limit on Navy Federal cards, it will appear immediately under available credit. Um, and under your credit limit the next business day when the system update I call them after I saw different limits. Okay, good. Thanks for chiming in on that, Devin. I appreciate you. Rod says, Dwayne, did you have any training for stock trading? Uh, no, no, I did not. No, I do not. Um, the training I have is just watching a bunch of videos and trying to do some research on my own. And, you know, I mean, the crazy thing about the stock market is that there are a bunch of different ways to make money and it's it's actually very funny to me how technical some of these people are when it comes to the stock market because i haven't done anything technical and uh like i said if i had if i had just sit still on some of the accounts that i bought shares with earlier i would be well over eighty thousand dollars right now like well over and we're talking about three weeks of trading now once again i know that this is a very good time, or at least for me, it's a good time to trade because uh, a lot of the stocks are trying to get back to where they were before coronavirus. So it literally every day has just been like a green day for the last five days straight, which is kind of weird. Like I have a lot of different stocks on my watch list. And when I scroll down the watch list, like every day at the end of the market, at the end of closing, uh, everything's in green. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like it's literally been like that for the last five days. So no, I have not been trained. Anthony said, who does uh, Citibank pull from for your credit cards? It, it depends on where you are, Anthony. I don't remember who they pull from for my card, but it depends on uh, on where you are. Uh, thank you, Ronald Anderson, so much for that super chat. I know I saw that earlier. I appreciate you. Ronald Anderson says, I know it's not your birthday yet, but happy pre-birthday. Yes, sir. My birthday is coming on the 24th, June 24th, which is a Wednesday. Uh, more than likely, I'm not going to be doing a live stream on that day, but I appreciate you, Mr. Anderson, uh, for sending that $20 super chat. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. All right, scrolling up here. Um, let me see. Let me see. Golly, oh, I'm so slow. Okay, here we go. Finally, uh, says D. I'm a dude, big truck driving, rolling to El Paso. Have you heard of our Mission Lane Visa? Five months ago, gave me 1,000 credit limit with a 610 FICO score. Now it's 689. Dude, that's nice. That's awesome. Um, I have not heard of that particular card, but that is pretty cool uh, that your credit score has jumped up uh, 79 points. Thanks for taking the time to share that information, man. Kenneth says, where is the where is the like button? Uh, you may have to refresh the live stream. You may have to like get out of the stream and then maybe search my channel again, How to Build Credit TV, and then click on the live and, and, it, may, and it may show up. Uh, if not, I don't know, my brother. They didn't want you to smash the like, the like button. One cool cat says, good evening, Dwayne. Good live stream as usual. Smash thumbs up, executed. Thank you, sir, and thanks for stopping by. Um, G Dob says, "Is it hard to get with U.S. Bank?" I think so. Uh, U.S. Bank is is not the easiest. But me personally, I didn't have a hard time getting in uh, when I applied for the card back in 2018. My very first card, I'm sure my credit score was over 700, 
and I did not have more than three inquiries at the time of that application. Uh, 2018, I went nuts on credit card applications. Um, so 2017, I did a Discover secured card. That was August of 2017. And then prior to that, I had in 2017, I had a Macy's credit card. Um, in 2017, I also had a Chase Freedom Unlimited card application. So 2017, March, I got the I got the Chase card, and then in July, I got the Macy's credit card, which was just the Macy's store card, and then August, I got the Discover It Secured. 2018, August, I didn't do anything from 2017 August to 2018 August. 2018 August, on the same day, Blue Cash Every Day was my first application. I got a 7,000 limit on that. Then I did the Discover card, Discover It card. Um, I got a 5,000 limit on that. That was the same day. The very next day, I did a Citibank double cash application with a $4,300 limit. I did a US Bank with a 6,000 limit. And then I waited, I don't remember how long, maybe this was all August. Uh, and then I waited maybe till September, applied for the Bank of America cash rewards card, got a $4,500 limit with them. And then in October, I got a Amex Gold card from American Express, the charge card. Six credit cards, um, literally in a two and a half month period or like a two month period uh, in 2017. And then the next application I did was in February of 2019, which was the, the Marriott Bonvoy card. So um, I have racked up a lot of inquiries uh, around that same time. Movie Guy says, got my Discover It card today, excited to make positive things happen. Congratulations, Movie Guy, and thanks for stopping by and sharing that information, man. G Dobbs says, no, Dwayne, you are a very, very handsome guy with the, that gorgeous smile. I love to see you smile. G Dobbs, if you don't get out of my uh, chat talking about my handsome smile, you know I can't be blushing on camera, man. But I appreciate you taking the time to say that. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Uh, Jordan23 says, Dwayne, it's so appropriate that you tell me about your workout progress when I ask about your day. I've been walking a lot since August 19. Now I'm walking, jogging. I've lost 97 pounds so far. I'm 43. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. That is super cool, man. Um, there was a time where I was like 255, but I like to round it up. I like to say I'm two, I am was 260. I was like 260, and um, I lost a bunch of weight. I had gotten down to 178, which the 178 thing was an accident. I kind of stopped trying to lose weight when I was like 195-ish, but I just kept losing the weight. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I mean, I, I rate you, I respect you. I mean, that is incredible. Keep doing your thing. It's very important for us to be healthy. And that's why I'm always talking about my weight. I'm really trying to get a hold of it now because, you know, I still think that I'm young. I still feel that I'm young. Um, I know that a lot of people aren't able to do the things that I'm able to do at my age. Uh, just like there are a lot of people that are able to do more than I'm able to do at my age, but I want to get a hold on it now while I can so that when I'm 63 or 62, 20 years from now, um, you know, I'll have a better handle, handle on my food. Like I can't be out killing myself walking and carrying on when I'm 62, right? I mean, not that that makes me old, but you know, it's easier for me to do it now. So I need to get some good habits in there right now. Cinema Madness says, if you had an MX Blue Cash Preferred and you went to gas station for 3% and used it and get back, uh, you get one $300 prepaid card monthly. Uh, three times 12 months is $3,600. Uh, 3%, uh, that'd be 108. Would you then get full 6% on groceries? Um, man, you are out here with all the equations, man. Um, you know, I don't know off the top of my head. I didn't, I didn't do a good job reading that, but um, you know, they do kind of max you as far as like how much you can earn or up to how much you can earn for that particular, you know, for that particular card. And off the top of my head, I don't, I don't really know. I know it's six times on groceries for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You got me on that one, man. You got me on that one. Uh, let's see here. Michelle. Okay. Uh, she's talking to D so I got approved for the Navy Federal 10,000. I have a secured card with them for a year and checking account for one year. Awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Michelle, congratulations on that $10,000 um, credit limit. Rod says, I have a question. Is it true that Navy Fed no longer 
hard increase for credit increase. Um, somebody did say earlier that they got a credit limit increase with Navy Fed without having a hard pull. Uh, the best way to find that out is to contact them yourself and ask that question before getting a credit limit increase. If it's going to be a hard pull, I would say it's not worth it. I would just advise you to apply for a credit card instead, especially if it's been at least four months since your last credit approval from them. Jay says, when you get an Amex charge card with an annual fee, is that fee due upon completion of the application or do they give you time to pay it? Normally, that fee is going to show up on your first billing statement. Okay, so depending on where that falls, um, you know, you could see it as quickly as a month, um, which is pretty standard. So you get, you get like a month, I guess, maybe. Um, I feel like it's never been instant, but I don't, I can't say that I've paid attention. And I've had a lot of annual fees, right? So I had a $95 annual fee for the Bonvoy card. I've had a $250 annual fee for the gold card, the charge card. I've had the $95 for the uh, Delta Gold Sky Miles, $250 from the Delta Platinum Sky Miles, uh, and then $550 for the American Express Platinum card. So, um, yeah, I mean, I always get hurt about those fees because, like, that's real money coming out of my account. And, uh, you know, your boy's very cheap. Secure Credit Academy says, loving the new uh, U.S. Bank uh AR card. <laughs> it's a new, it's new, it's the new Uber Visa uh, with a four times back. Million dollar question is can the points transfer to altitude reserve? Great question. Great question. We'd have to call them up for that one, man. That's a good question, though. Um, I don't have that card, so that's not even going to be my concern, but maybe D. Anderson would know that. James, what's going on, bro? Thanks for stopping by the stream. It's a pleasure to see you here, my brother. JP says, Happy birthday to you in advance brother and lord jesus christ loves you and your family jp i uh, appreciate that man i got another 14 days to go today's the eighth i got another 14 days uh, wait is that right 14 that can't be right right is that right no 16 jesus i'm horrible 16 days to go i'm in love with 24 so i'm saying 14 but i have 16 days to go it's on the 24th Devin says, I really like this car because I used to dine out like two, three times a week before the coronavirus. I currently have five cars with U.S. Bank, but a bit of inquiries from two years ago. Um, you have five cars with U.S. Bank? What? Really? Dude, that's crazy. Cinemadness says, more tough questions of all your cards. Uh, if you could only have one Amex, one Visa, one MasterCard, one Discover, which would they be? Well, I mean, I only have one Discover. I have the Discover It, right? So that's pretty simple. Uh, for the Visa card, I'm going to have to go with the U.S. Bank Cash Plus Visa Signature Card because that card has given me a lot of cash back. Um, for the Amex card, hmm, that's a tough one. I feel like I would go with the gold card, um, but I'm saying as I'm saying that um, I do have a Mastercard with Capital One that I would go with. Um, let's see. I think the flagship card is a Visa card. The flagship card is a Visa. Yeah, the flagship card is a Visa card. Um, but. Yeah, I would have to go with the with the U.S. Bank Cash Plus for my Visa. I I mean, it would be kind of tricky going for the going for the 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 Saver card. It's a Mastercard, you know, you get four times points on dining and entertainment. Um, but I get four times points with my American Express Gold as well. So that's pretty. That's probably going to be it. Uh, the Amex Gold for the Amex card, uh, the Visa Signature card from U.S. Bank, the Cash Plus, the Capital One Saver card. That's my Mastercard, and then the Discover it. That would be my cards that I would go with. Giovanni says, who has better credit cards? Chase, Navy Federal, because I got an offer for Chase Freedom Unlimited. Um, I mean, when it comes to generous limits, Navy Federal gives you great limits. But when it comes to cards with good sign-up bonuses and like great value for the points that you can redeem towards travel, uh, Chase has good, good cards. I would absolutely get a relationship with Chase if you could. Uh, Jordan 23 says we need to get this US Bank Altitude card a nickname um, 
<laughs> How about the U.S. bag? <laughs> uh, sure, go for it. That sounds good. Uh, investigative Research Specialties Incorporated says, I'm joining late, so I don't know if you've already discussed, but it seems, it seems what? Um, Terry, what's going on, bro? Says, hey, D, so is it true that if you go inside the Chase branch to, to apply for a credit card, you have a higher chance of getting approved? I have an eight-year checking account. Um, yes, people have had that experience. Um, if you have the Chase app, you want to go ahead and log into the app if you have the app, and then um, you can kind of see it'll have like a little, like you can kind of click on the left, the top left, and you should have like a drop down menu, and it should have like offers for me, offer for you. Uh, and if you can see that you're a, like, if there's an offer there for you in regards to your credit card, I would just go through that as well. But the fact that you've had an account for eight years is really good. And if you do not have more than three inquiries, I think it could be worth your while to uh, apply for a card. If you want to go on the branch, that's probably not a bad idea as well. So we have 104 people in the live stream, but we only have 89 thumbs up. Guys, please smash the thumbs up. We need at least 100. So just 11 more smashes of the thumbs up. I would really appreciate that a lot. And of course, if you have questions, be sure to ask. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Like I said on the channel, I talk about credit, credit cards, and how to make money using credit cards. I've also been showing a little bit about my journey in regards to the stock market. Um, I'm not gonna go into great detail about that, but I am gonna show you guys my journey in regards to the stock market and currently what I've been experiencing. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Uh, let's see, but it seems as though Navy Federal Flagship Rewards no longer has joining bonus. Um, yeah, I think the sign up bonuses when it comes to Navy Federal kind of comes comes and go. Um, I don't know like if they're not going to offer sign up bonuses anymore, but I know that I've seen it where there was a sign up bonus, then there is a sign up bonus that's a little lower, and then there's no sign up bonus at all. So I'm not exactly sure uh, what's what's going on with that. Uh, have you ever been to or have ever seen a place that only accepts Amex or accepts Discover? Uh, no, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Chambay says, uh, I have the U.S. Bank Cash Plus that I told you about a year now. I want to apply for the new one tomorrow. Um, when I go to the branch, just like last time, I bank with them for three years. Man, I don't know. I mean, I would tell you not to do it. You know, I feel like you have a bunch of inquiries, but I'm curious to know. I'm curious to know what happened, what happens with that. Uh, thank you so much um, for the $29.44 super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for that super chat. It means a lot to me. Um, I wish I could pronounce your first name, but um, I mean, I could, but I'm not going to butcher it. So thank you. Um, I appreciate that a lot. It says keep teaching our people. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. All right, let me scroll back up there and go back to where I was in the comments section. I'm slowly making my way through the comments section. I appreciate you guys. Um, let's see here. Okay, okay. Cakeology says, I know that's right. We will remain undefeated. <laughs> I'm sure he probably was talking to D. Anderson or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the way that sounds though. S House, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Security Credit Academy says, Dwayne, hoping that you have videos up by the end of the month. In the meantime, the Facebook group is slowly growing. Awesome. Uh, you're definitely doing it right in regards to the Facebook group. That's something that I did not do with this channel. And uh, I know that I'm a fool for not doing it, but you know, um, it's another thing for me to have to respond to and trust me, as fun as it is for me to sit here and read people's comments, especially the ones that are negative, um, I don't I don't need another place for which to be responsible in regards to answering comments and questions. Uh, so I think it's really good that you have that, and I think that's going to be a good way to grow your channel as well. And I'm certain that it would have helped my channel tremendously had I had a Facebook group, uh, as well as like Instagram and maybe even Twitter. I don't know. Uh, I missed it, and that's okay. I'm doing just fine. So that's awesome, though. 
Uh, I'm curious to see your journey for sure. Let me know when you get more videos up. I'll definitely pump some, some viewers your way. Michelle says, wow, you have a lot of cards. Is that good? I have six, but two are secured cards and Capital One, Quicksilver, will not increase my limit. Had them since 2014. Capital One is the worst when it comes to that sometimes. Yes, um, Michelle, when it comes to credit cards, I would say that a lot of cards are good. Um, currently, I have 19 cards. You guys can't see that, but um, I currently have 19 cards. Um, so it's a lot of cards. It's a lot of cards. But the reason why I have a lot of cards too is it makes it a lot easier for me to have a very, very low utilization uh, because I have a lot of available credit. I have um, over a hundred thousand dollars worth of available credit across all those cards. So you know, once again, it makes it insanely easy uh, for me to have a very low utilization. Um, so it's not it's not a bad thing when it comes to having a lot of cards. I think one of the things that's probably it sucks to uh, to deal with is you know making sure that you're using the cards like maybe once a month or once every two months. Um, I'm just trying to go into my utilization here to kind of show you guys. So let's see here. Eventually, this will kind of focus. Um, so right there, you guys can see total available credit. I have 182,000. This is according to TransUnion. If I click on uh, Experian, let me see. I can't figure it out. Let's see. I mean, Equifax, not Experian. Okay, that's Experian. And then available, it says 159. I think that says $159,000 of available credit. Uh, so the information is different, right? I have 182, which I didn't even I didn't even know. I thought it was like 150 both places. So it was $182,000 of available credit, um, which 10% of that is ridiculous. Like I'm never going to be using 10% of $182,000, and so it makes my utilization insanely low. So. Uh, I'm always going to be maxing out. As a matter of fact, it says my utilization is 0%, but it says that because it's really close to zero. It's not really 0%, but it's really close to zero. Um, and that's kind of where it always is. So I'll always have a lot of that category, which the credit utilization is 30% of your 850 points. So that is 200 and something. Uh, I want to say 227. I don't remember. Let's see, 850, 30 percent, 255. I knew that. 255, 255 points comes from your credit utilization. So that's the benefit in having a lot of cards because it gives you more available credit. Ronald Anderson says, "What's up, Dwayne Wagwan and my How to Build Credit TV family? I'm good, bro. Like I said, thanks so much for that super chat." Devin says, "I recently joined PayPal for their earning with Rakuten and looking into PayPal Cashback Mastercard." For more ways to earn rewards, have you had any experience with it or trying to get it yourself? Um, I don't have any experience with it. I don't remember who brought that up last live stream. I do have it open in one of my many tabs uh, on my computer. I probably have like 30 tabs open. You know, of course, every single tab is super important, which is why I have all 30 of them open. But um, no, I, I know that it's a very easy way to rack up a lot of uh, cashback points or points in general um, and I know that you can get points with Rakuten as well as the credit card if you use your credit card that's not their card so I think that's really good and uh, I think you should go full steam ahead on that is there a way to find out if you burnt a relationship with CCC if you can't remember having because it's been years and I have and hasn't fallen fallen off since then I don't know what CCC is, um, but stuff could take up to se seven years minimum to fall off. I would say seven, you know, ten years would be worst case. And remember, it's not from when you screw up the relationship; it's from when it was reported. So if it wasn't reported till six months after you screw up the relationship, you know, then it's going to even be that much longer. Twill Bunk, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by. Says anyone apply? For apply or check on capital one cards lately keep getting uh oops our bad been happening the past week i'm not sure what you're asking on that man um rod says congrats Dwayne on graduation yeah man my boy you know graduated high school and uh he's taking an interesting path but uh, as a parent you gotta let your kids explore even though 
you may not agree <laughs> you may not agree with with the path they're going i think that's probably the hardest thing that i've had to experience so far with being a parent but i mean at least i i respect him he's not he's not going to college but i respect the fact that he's not going to college to waste his time and and our money uh, if he's not serious about doing something. So it'll be interesting to kind of see his journey and, and where he ends up. He's a smart kid, and uh, he has a support from both parents, so I'm sure he will figure it out. Carlos says, I need to decide between the Capital One secured and Citibank secured. Hi, from Puerto Rico. Hey, if I were you, I would go with the Citibank, to be honest. I would go with Citibank because Capital One does not promote. They don't graduate you to the unsecured card. So I would absolutely go with Citibank, and I think it could be a little easier to get it. Um, that's what I would suggest. Uh, and thanks for watching from Puerto Rico, bro. That's awesome. There we go. Puerto Rico's in the house. Uh, Puerto Rico, let's go. Kenneth says, Samsung Note 10 Plus. I hate Apple. Sorry, guys. Nah, man, listen. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. The Samsung Samsung phones are great. Samsung, Samsung phones are uh, are definitely better than Apple phones at certain things. Absolutely. Um, just, you know, just like vice versa, right? Like software wise, I can't complain about Apple. You know, I, I don't, I don't think Samsung is good software wise, but they excel at a lot of other things. And the camera on Samsung phones is real serious. So I hear you on that. Cap GGG says I'm at a 647 on credit karma, but experience boost, no FICO at all. Why is that? Um, first of all don't trust credit karma credit karma is not your fico score and then as far as like your experience boost no fico at all i would just assume that you don't have a lot of credit history so just give it some more time you know um it could take up to six months to start seeing your credit score um Ronald Anderson says, here in new jersey waiting to load this tractor trailer okay i hear, I hear you bro you're talking to Devin. Um, okay. Uh, Chambe says, man, I really love you guys. Big D and D Anderson and all you all. Um, I remember watching this channel and D Anderson video. I got so much knowledge about credit and in live general. Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> I hear you, bro. I hear you. I uh, appreciate that too. Uh, Ulysses says congratulations on your son new journey yeah you know it's kind of weird is um it's so weird like I, I don't I don't think graduating high school is a big deal but I think that's just because both parents went to college and you know like it's not like he's the first generation or something like that uh, for one of our families that's graduating high school um, but it is kind of cool and you know it it felt cool like wow, I'm really watching my son graduate. Like, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and I definitely have never done that before in my life. So I'll get to do that again with my daughter in two more years. Tyrone says, my, my sister's birthday is June 24th. Your sister's good people, Tyrone. You know what I mean? D. Anderson says, 2015, I had two cards, didn't apply for no more cards until 418 uh, to 219. Uh, to 2019, I got the mothership of approvals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's the thing. A lot of people don't understand like the importance of having no inquiries when you're applying for cards. It's very, very important. Um, you will get higher limits and you definitely will get approved. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Rod says, any thoughts on HSBC getting an... A lot of mail from them um, they're okay um, I did apply for one of their cards I opened one of the accounts with them like a checking account uh, probably back in early 2019 and it was like ten thousand dollar deposit and get five hundred or six hundred dollars I don't remember what the offer was but I opened the account and I was like I'm gonna apply for a card just because you know I love applying for credit cards the sign up bonus was nothing special and I did not get the card and I was really mad about it. I was like, what? Um, they wanted me to jump through all kinds of hoops. Like it totally sucked, but I did not get the card. Um, I don't think HSBC is anything special and definitely you can find better sign up offers. So uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. Michael says, hey, Dwayne, new chatter here. What level of income do you believe is required to qualify for a multiple 10,000 or more credit line credit cards? Thanks. Uh, great question, Michael. And thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you. 
Um, I would say that it has a lot to do with um, it has a lot to do with how much debt you currently have. Also, like income is really important, um, but if you have a lot of income and a lot of debt, then you know, and not and not necessarily debt, but like things that you're responsible for making monthly payments to. Um, that's what I'm talking about, right? So if I made fifty thousand dollars, but I'm paying mortgage and I'm paying, you know, child support and I'm paying um, student loans back and I'm paying credit card bills and I'm paying a car note, like all of those things eat up into how much money that you're making. So that could influence how much money that the credit card company gives you as a limit. So it it does those things do matter, as well as how many inquiries you have while applying for that credit card. So it's not like there's a set number. There's a lot of factors. One of the things that you could do is once you get a relationship with a specific card that may be a generous giver, like American Express used to be, I mean, I don't know what's going on now, Navy Federal, even Discover Card sometimes, even Chase sometimes, um, once you get a relationship with those people, you can just use the card as much as possible, pay it off, use it, pay it off, use it, pay it off, and then over time, you should get rewarded for that. So it really just kind of depends on the bank and how generous they are in regards to their credit limits. Um, and then, like I said, how many inquiries you have and how many things for which you're responsible for making monthly payments. So I would say, you know, anywhere from 40 and above. But if you have 40 and above that you're making yearly and you have a bunch of things that you have to pay monthly, uh, all of that's going to kind of offset how much you're going to get for a credit limit. That's a tough question, though, because um, I can't give you a solid answer on that. Um, Secure Credit Academy says to get the like button, simply close the live chat window, hit like, then tap live chat to come back here. All right, man. Appreciate you helping, Andy. I appreciate you uh, giving out that advice. Tyrone says, Dwayne, you got us waiting. Uh, Dwayne, you got us waiting what is the next card you're thinking about applying for? <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to apply for this one just because, like I said, I have the, a relationship with uh, Navy Federal, with U.S. Bank. So I'm just kind of curious what will happen with that. Even though I know I shouldn't apply and I would tell everybody, don't apply. g Dobbs says, doing the, psycho, <laughs> doing the psycho score that they show on navy fed is that accurate navy federal's fico score is different navy federal score is different their scoring model is different i want to say it's scoring model fico model nine it's either nine or six but it's different it's not based on the 850 points uh, of the fico scoring model eight luis says man i had no idea you lived in houston i live right down in san antonio how about them spurs <laughs> <laughs> dude that's so funny um san antonio spurs has got to be one of the most underrated teams uh even when they were winning championships left and right like it was always amazing to me that the spurs could quietly get to the playoffs and quietly be in the finals and quietly win a championship you, they just didn't get the spotlight and i don't know why i mean the spurs is a bigger deal than rockets to be honest with you right the spurs have more championships than the rockets do but trust me, Rockets get more camera time for some odd reason. So much respect, man. Right down the street. I see you, bro. Um, Cinematic says, I'm so torn. I, I'm i for both team. Cashback and points, I have both types of cards. And I'm so split on where to start my long-term relationship with Amex. Is blue cash every day or blue every day a keeper? Yes, both cards are keepers. If you want to earn, If you want to earn points... Get the everyday card. If you want to earn cash back, get the blue cash every day, right? Um, and then, of course, both cards has a preferred version. So um, I think both of those cards are good. Um, American Express has business cards, right? So they have the blue cash. They have the blue plus, blue business plus, which they have a cash version where you get 2%, uh, 2% cash back on all your purchases up to $50,000. Uh, so your first $50,000, you get two times points or 2% cash back. They have both versions. They have points and they have cash back. So it depends. I mean, you could double up. Um, you know, you can get like the blue cash and then you can get the blue cash business or you can get the everyday card or the blue cash that allows you to get the points 
I hope you understood that. I'm sure you did. Uh, Security Academy says data points coming in on Altitude Go is that it requires no prior relationship with U.S. Bank, according to Dustin Waller, Waller's Wallet uh, and Doctor of Credit. Okay, cool. Cool. Sweet. Thanks for taking the time to share that. Jesus Christ. That boy, Jesus. Love that profile pic, man. I know that's an iPhone he Jesus has in his hand. I know the Lord is using the iPhone. Is that right? Uh, that boy says, stay blessed. Yeah, man. Thanks for stopping by. Devin says, Chase gives secret sign-up bonuses they don't show online. That's what happened to me when I opened my United card with 60,000 miles after 2,000 spend instead of 50 um, after 1,000 spend. Good. And I would have totally had that card. If I could have a relationship with Chase, absolutely I'd get that card. That card is sweet and the sign-up bonus is nice also. Luis says, a Capital One Platinum card. I have a Capital One Platinum card. I got it about a year ago. Is it true that they allow to upgrade without a hard inquiry? Um, great question. Contact them. And if you do upgrade, just go ahead and get like the Quicksilver card um, or the Saver card. But call them and ask that question. Jay Chavez, what's up, Dwayne? Hope all is good. When you applied for your Chase cards, were you pre-approved or did you call app? When applying for new credit cards, do you always check pre-qualification offers? Um, for the Chase card that I applied for back in 2017, um, I saw that there was an offer for me in the app. So um, I was like, sweet. I was so excited to have a relationship with Chase again. And I had already had a second account that I had got probably March, uh, of 2017 so I just took my chance and went for it and I was approved um, so yes normally if you can see if, the, if you're pre-approved uh, Chase doesn't give you a way to see but if there's an offer in the Chase app or in your account then it's good to go through them that way um, but like Discover Card and American Express you can always kind of check to see if you're pre-qualified before going for it um, and if you are I would go for it that way Josie, what's going on, girl? Thanks for stopping by. It says, hey, hey, Dwayne and family, I am finally able to catch live. I hope all is well. I am doing well. Thanks for stopping by. What's going on, Savage? Trace, what's going on? Trey, what's going on? It says, sup, bro? Feeling the background. Oh, man, I appreciate you, man. Um, it's taken a while for me to get used to the background, but there it is. It's it's back there. It's weird because it's, it's black or like dark gray. So it's it's taken me a while. I've been really kind of nerding it out on YouTube because I, I kind of wanted to like upgrade my background even more. I was thinking about getting this little this little clock deal that shows the subscribers, um, but it's like two hundred dollars for it. It's so it's so small. It's <laughs> it's not worth two hundred dollars, right? But and then I'm so cheap. And then I was also thinking about getting some lights back there. Man, I was thinking about all kinds of stuff. So y'all, so you know. If you ever see those, if you ever see me upgrade it more than it is now, you know your boy's rolling in the dough, or uh, I'm not, I'm not being cheap anymore, or I got some cool birthday gifts. You know what I mean? One of those three things. Jesus Christ says, "Hit the thumbs up, and I will bless you." Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Uh, Louis, Louis says, uh, so would it be the same if I get the Chase account removed from my credit report rather than waiting the whole seven years to apply again? Um, dude, I don't know how you're going to get it removed, but if you do, um, you know, you can try. I mean, there's no, it's not a perfect science when it comes to Chase. Um, you know, some people have waited longer than seven years and they weren't able to establish a relationship with Chase. So, Chase is good to have a relationship with, but there are other banks out there that you can get relationships with while you're waiting to get your relationship back with Chase. Howard says, having trouble deciding between the cashback cards for everything versus my travel cards since I probably won't be traveling for a long time. Thought. Um, I mean, if you're not traveling, then, you know, who cares about the travel cards, right? Um, but I mean, you're saying a long time. I mean, the, the points don't go anywhere. You know what I mean? So if, like, if you're racking up points, it's not like they're gonna expire. Like I have a lot of points that I need to use right now. As a matter of fact, I have, yeah, a lot of points that I need to redeem. So it just kind of depends. I mean, wh which one you wanna use. If you wanna use cashback, clearly you can use the cashback whenever you earn it. 
Um, I let my stuff stack up anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm going to use it tomorrow because I won't because I need I need it to stack up. Um, Devin says I currently have the Harley Davidson Visa secured. I mean signature, cash plus platinum uh, platinum rewards Visa, uh, which is used for Ace Hardware Visa and Visa Signature, which be used for the Sport Chalant Visa. Wow. Okay, dude, man, you got all the cards with the U.S. Bank. That is a lot. Cinema Madness says, is the Amex every day an extremely good keeper card and future proof in that it earns the same exact currency that your Amex Interior and Black card earns? Man, if you don't stop with all these hard questions tonight, you are killing me with these hard questions, my brother. Um, I mean, this, the Centurion Black card, I mean, I mean, that doesn't mean anything to me, right? Um, but I guess you're saying that, uh, you're saying that it's a keeper card because it does earn, um, the exact <laughs> point currency that the, the Centurion, the Centurion Black card does, which is absolutely funny. Yeah. I mean, you're right. You said it's an, it's a extremely good keeper card. That's good. Go for it. Uh, Twilbunk says, oh my God, I'm having problems with Capital One and an era decide to give it another try and I was approved for 500 Quicksilver One. Cool. Awesome, man. There you go. You got your foot in the door. There you go, man. Take care of that relationship. Use the snot out of that card and pay it off. You know, if this is your first experience getting cash back, that's where it all started for me with that Quicksilver card. Use it, pay it off. Use it, pay it off. You do it, you know, once a week. Um, so you can keep using the card and getting your cash back. Definitely congratulations for sure. Um, Dacian, forgive me if I said your name wrong. Uh, what's up, good brother? Amex just denied me for the blue cash. Sad face. How can I establish a relationship with them? Stay safe, bro. Um, the best way to establish a relationship with American Express is to be an authorized user, right? Especially since you were just denied. If you know somebody in your family that you can jump on their card, as an authorized user with American Express, you could do that. Uh, if you don't know anybody, you can email me. My email address is helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. Helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. I'll slap it into the chat here just so you can have it. Um, and you can email me. Include your phone number and I'll try to give you a call and see what we can do. All right, so I just slapped it into the chat. Um, let me scroll back up to the comments where I was. Let's see how long it takes me to get back to where I was. Okay, Terry says, not sure if I have done this, but can I, can you do a credit card journey video? Uh, example, tier one set of credit card, tier two, and so on, trying to get into the credit card game. Uh, no, I haven't done that. I haven't done that. And and believe it or not, I'm not really interested in doing video a video like that. Um, the Credit Shifu has a video that talks about credit card tiers, uh, and it's a decent video. You can watch that video. Uh, Ask Sebi may even have a video like that as well. Me personally, I, I'm not interested in doing that. But like I said, those two do have videos talking about that, and I have no problem telling you to check that out just because it's already there. And I'm me personally, I'm not I'm not really feeling it. Thank you so much for that ten dollars super chat. Um, Twill Bunk, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, let me scroll down here, show you some love. Says, Dwayne, keep up the good work. I have learned so much from your past videos. Thank you so much, man. And congratulations to you on that Quicksilver card with the $500 credit limit. Like I said, just use it as much as possible and pay it off. You know, don't wait for your, your statement to end to pay it off. Uh, so you want to use it as much as you can, which the ideal scenario would be that you would be using it and paying it off and using it and paying it off and for the month you will you would have spent more than five hundred dollars on the card even though the limits five hundred dollars because you're paying it off uh, frequently maybe once a week or once every couple of days depending on how much you're using it the hopefully um, Capital One will reward you and give you a higher credit limit after a while thanks again for that ten dollar super chat man that's awesome thank you all right scrolling back up here let me see, let me see where I was. Um, movie Guy, Movie Guy says, if your score is, un, is updated, 
after reporting date, does it matter to have a higher utilization during the month as long as paid off at reporting date? Your utilization doesn't matter unless it's being reported and unless you're worried because you need to have the highest possible score, right? So I know if my closing date is on the 12th of every month, that means that they're gonna send the information to the credit bureaus around the 13th, 14th of every month. Then I wanna make sure that the snapshot that is sent at that particular time, what my balance is on my account, um, I wanna be mindful of that, okay? Uh, right now, because I have so many credit cards, right, and because my, my limit's really high, I never worry about it because my utilization's always low. But if you're concerned about it, just know that the only time that your utilization matters is maybe a month or two before you apply for a card or apply for a loan, and you want to make sure that your utilization is low. Um, so hopefully I answered your question, hopefully. Um, Okay, CCC equals credit card company. All right, sweet. I'm learning. Trey says, how many times can you apply with American Express within one month if you're denied? Hopefully, I asked that right. Um, if you're denied with American Express, I wouldn't apply for, I would just wait 90 days. Um, that's just me. And the reason why I'm also giving that advice is because I want to give safe advice. I don't want to give people advice that's like hyped up and like you know oh yeah no yeah you, you definitely can get back in there no just wait just wait 90 days you know what i mean um i know sometimes it can be hard but it is the best thing to do most of the times is just to wait um kassan says samsung fold 2 let's go Man, if y'all don't get y'all Samsungs out of here. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Cinematic says, do you personally find Amex accepting rate an issue? Acceptance rate an issue. I'm looking to start a relationship with them in the next few years. And a lot says that's an issue. I would hope to think it's not a big issue. You're saying as far as people or places that accept American Express, dude, for me personally, it, it hasn't really been an issue. The only time American Express and Discover Card is an issue is um, like when you're paying a certain utility bill, they may not accept American Express or Discover Card. Discover Card, most of the times, then American Express. But that's really the only times. Maybe out of the country, um, that would be the only other time that American Express and Discover Card is not accepted that much. But depending on where you go out of the country wise, you know, they'll say, hey, we're proudly accepting American Express. I know that they accept American Express in Costa Rica and it was like a big deal. And there's a bunch of advertising about American Express there. Um, but I that's pretty much it. I mean, I think if you have a Visa card and American Express card, you know, and both of those cards don't have uh, foreign transaction fees. You're good to go out of the country and you're clearly good to go in the U.S. Mel, what's going on, bro? Thanks for stopping by. Says, hey, Dwayne, a little late tuning in for the knowledge. Wanted to know if you didn't mind uh, a quick summary with the U.S. Bank new card, uh, what it's about. Uh, basically, it is a card that allows you to earn points. And of course, you can use those points as cash back. I'm going to pull it up on the screen here, share my screen with you guys. But they have a 20,000 bonus points right now. So you get $2,000. The 20,000 points is valued at $2,000 after you spend is valued at $200. 20,000 points is equivalent to $200 and the minimum spend is $1,000. You're able to get four times points on takeout, food delivery, and dining. So basically four times points on any food related. Uh, two times points on grocery stores, um, delivery or uh, at the grocery store, streaming services, and gas stations. Uh, and then of course, one times on everything else. There's no annual fee, which is really, really good. There's an introductory sign-up offer as far as the APR is concerned um, on your purchases. That's 0% for the first 12 months and balance transfers for the first 12 months. So that is really, really cool. Um, I wonder if there's a balance transfer fee, even though they say there's 0% introductory APR for the actual transfer um, once you've transferred it to your account. Then, of course, they give you a $15 streaming credit, uh, which is really cool. It's annually, so you get... Uh, in addition to getting the two times points for streaming services, you're going to get a $15 credit after having 
your streaming service for 11 months. So basically like your 12th month of having the streaming service, you get a $15 credit. So that's pretty much it. There's no foreign transaction fees for this card. There's no annual fee. Um, this card is not, not necessarily anything special, but uh, it's, you know, U.S. Bank's version of basically um, like getting into a card where you can get a substantial amount of points uh, in regards to dining and gas and stuff like that. So I think this card is it's pretty cool. There's no annual fee for the card. And I love that. I love that. No annual fee is right with me. It's perfect for me, actually. Uh, right. Let me get back here and show you guys my face. Okay. Um, Kenneth says, on Credit Karma, I have no Equifax report, but my Equifax app, I have one. How is that possible? I don't know. That is a great question, man. Um, hmm. I don't know. It, like I said earlier, I don't know if I said that to you or not, but if you're new and if this is like your first, uh, you know, if you haven't had credit for a while, maybe that's what it is. I feel like it will fix itself eventually, though. Trey says, also, if you request a credit limit increase with Amex, then they denied. How long should you wait until you reapply? Um, I would not reapply for a credit limit increase. I would just apply for another card. And once again, I would wait three months before applying for another card. Um, but in those three months, be using that American Express card like crazy. That's what I would do. Use it and pay it off. Jerry says, I have a Capital One secured card. They don't upgrade. Credit limit 500 had about two years. Should I keep trying to build uh, credit experience 663, TransUnion 651, and Equifax um, or Experian? Okay. Um, yeah, that is tough, man. Um, I don't remember if there is an annual fee for that secure card or not anymore with Capital One. If there's not an annual fee, um, I would say keep the card because if you're going to close that card and it's one of your oldest cards, it's going to affect your score tremendously and i don't want to see that for you um uh, what you may want to consider doing is consider getting a secured card from discover or a secured card from citibank as well devin says what business credit cards do you recommend because i might think about some business credit so i get some some of my personal credit paid down um, I would definitely off the bat, the best two banks to go with as far as business cards would be Chase and American Express. Chase has some really, really, really good sign up bonuses for their business cards. The Chase business on business, the Chase Unlimited Inc. business card. Um, there's a cashback version. There's a points version. Um, Chase has really, really good business cards. If you open a business account with Chase, you can get a sign up bonus. They do have two different types of bonuses. I think there's one for like, I think like a $1,500 balance. Um, and then there's one for a $2,500 balance. And I think the difference is like $200 and $500. So depending on which one of those you get, um, and that way you can go through them to get your business credit card. So I would start with the, with the checking account through Chase. Um, and then, of course, it's easier to get business credit cards with American Express. It's easier to get a business card with American Express than it is with Chase, but they're both worth it. And uh, Chase has good sign-up bonuses as well. Kenneth says, good looking secured card. Academy found the like button. Okay, I'm coming into your channel next. Awesome. Cool, man. Uh, that's good, Kenneth. I'm glad he helped you with that. Ulysses, your birthday's on the twelfth, my brother. Okay, well, happy early birthday to you. Um, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably won't be on here doing a live stream or anything, and I probably won't, wouldn't remember anyway. Let me see when the twelfth is. The twelfth is Friday. Okay, man, you better have a good time. Do it real big. You know what I mean? Um, that's awesome. Happy early birthday to you. If I don't get to do a live by then, happy early birthday to you, bro. Kassan says, I've been a Spurs fan since 1989, back when everyone else were riding them bulls. <laughs> hey, but, I mean, 89, dude, I couldn't even tell you who was on the team, who was on the Spurs team back in 89. I mean, I know it was David Robinson era, but other than David Robinson and, and, and Avery Johnson, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I know they had David Robinson, Tim Duncan, Sean Elliott. I know they had Manu Ginobili. That boy is cold. Um, Tony Parker, yeah, I mean the Spurs is definitely one of the one of the most underrated championship basketball teams there is, which is real sad. Tyrone says got turned down for a credit limit increase from Chase after paying prepaying my card with small auto pay for a year. 
Man, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Chase is Chase is tricky. Chase is tricky for sure. Um, Kassan says, uh, "Yep, you're 100 percent correct, Dwayne. They never receive respect they deserve. Uh, no, no doubt, no doubt for sure." Um, let's see. Uh, Devin says, Navy Federal uses FICO 9 when you view your account online. Thank you, sir, Devin, for clearing that up. Like I said, I didn't remember if it was FICO 9 or FICO 6. Josie says, uh, Dwayne, I finally opened my Chase checking account and received my sign-up bonus. Now I'm working on removing my inquiries, but once I have the inquiries removed, how long should I wait to apply for a credit card? Uh, Josie, first of all, congratulations on getting your Chase account with the sign-up bonus. I'm glad somebody was out here listening. That's an easy, easy $200 that you got. Um, as far as getting the hard inquiries removed and how long you should wait, um, I would just wait maybe two months, maybe. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like the longer the better. So I would just say maybe two months, but that's awesome. I'm glad you got your account with Chase and you're getting those inquiries removed. Tyrone says, once our product changed from US Bank Secure to Platinum Card, can I product change again, US Bank Cash Plus at D Anderson? Uh, great. I'm good. I'm glad that question's at D Anderson because I don't even I don't even know you can do all that product changing. Uh, Jerry says yes. Capital One do upgrade from platinum to silver card. No annual fee. Just did it this week. Awesome, Jerry. Thanks for sharing that information, man. Uh, Chris, my first Amex card is Hilton Honor Aspire. I travel a lot due to my, due to, due to a business, which is a secondary Amex card. Waiting time for second card. How long before requesting credit limit increase? Uh, for me personally, um, I waited until I got maybe two months before I applied for my second card. And then on the credit limit increase, I I really haven't done anything with the credit limit increase on any of my credit cards with American Express. The only card I ever asked for a credit limit increase was for my business card, which I no longer have. I got rid of the business credit card to get the Delta Platinum. Uh, Sky Miles card, which wasn't necessarily a good decision, but I did it anyway. Um, so I would say two months before you apply for your second card, um, if you want to wait longer, like three months, I think that that's good. On your credit limit increase, I would wait like six months, to be honest with you, uh, because they want to see usage, you know, and I would use the card a lot. That's my two cents on that one. Um, man, what's in my nose? Luis says, it's funny because while others like to binge watch Netflix, I like to binge watch credit card YouTube videos. Hey, man, I hear you, but that's how you get your game up. That's how you get your knowledge and your information. You know what I mean? Um, I tell you that, like, for me personally, I think it's really cool when you have an idea of where you want to be, right? And then you think you can get there and you take the steps necessary to get there and then before you know it, whether it's two years, three years, seven years, you're at that point. Um, I think it's very, very cool. And that's kind of how I feel about the stock market. In my head, I have an idea, right? I'm like, I think I can do this. I think I can make this work. I think I can do this as a full-time job. And so I remember, I'm very aware of this starting point and it's gonna be oh so glorious once I get to a point where I'm doing the very thing that started in my head. So do your thing, man. Nerd it out. Do your thing. You know what I mean? Get your credit right and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. You can get a whole bunch of trips and hotels, you know, for free. And um, then you can share that information with everybody else, even though people can be special when you share that type of stuff with them. But hey, man, I respect it. That is awesome. Um, Chris says, any good app to keep track of statement, close date, loan payment state, bill payments, etc.? to keep you up to keep up when you have more than 10 to 15 accounts um you put me on a spot I, I don't know of any off the top of my head but that's just because I don't use any so of course I don't know I mean I just use my phone for the calendar stuff um, and I check my my credit cards and bank stuff at least once a week I mean I have 19 credit cards so I have 19 credit cards and maybe like four bank accounts so um, so I, I check that stuff all the time so it's that's kind of hard for me to kind of give feedback on that just because I keep I keep up with that uh, a lot uh, stay well as your videos are very well are very helpful 
Can I combine my income and my spouse's for total household income on Amex and AB Ferrell applications? Uh, people have done that. Um, I it I feel like it doesn't. It's not necessarily worded that way on the applications, but that's not very uncommon that people do that. So I think it's okay to try it for sure. Center Madness says, Do you think that Amex would increase benefits and annual fee on Platinum Card to stay more premium than the Chase Sapphire Preferred, or do you think they'll come? with the two cards above platinum no i don't think american express is going to increase their annual fees um, i'm very curious to see about these two cards that are coming out above the platinum you know whenever they come out um i'm pretty sure if i were to get any of those two cards it would be strictly because i have a youtube channel and not necessarily that i'm just going to maximize all the perks so it'll be interesting to see what they do Terry G says, whenever you get denied for a credit card, do you ever call the credit card company's reconsideration hotline to ask why and convince them to approve you or do you just accept it and move on? Uh, Terry G, it's always okay to call the reconsideration line and see if they can approve you um, and have a conversation and ask them if there's anything that you can do. Now, a lot of people, <laughs> they want to swear by it like the reconsideration line is just a thing to do and you're going to get approved. There's plenty of times you can call the reconsideration line and not get approved, but it's okay to do it and ask if there's anything else that they need, just because if there is, and if there is something you can do for them to approve you, you know for a fact that you've exhausted that possibility, versus if you never call and you just you know take it and move on, then you know that's okay too. You just gotta wait you know, several months before applying again, and hopefully your score is better, or hopefully you have less inquiries also. But I think that's uh, not a bad thing to practice. Harlem Honey 0506. Hey Duane. I hi everyone. Hope all is well. Thanks for stopping by, Harlem Honey. It's a pleasure to see you again. Cinemadness says, do business credit cards with Amex count towards four credit cards? I know it doesn't for the charge cards. Yes. I would say yes. 1000 percent yes. Business credit card counts towards your four credit cards that you can now have with American Express. Devin says, I agree. I currently have five business credit cards with Amex business card with Amex including two charge cards three personal cards which includes two charge cards okay so for me I have five credit cards with American Express and two charge cards so the it's now four credit cards that you can have with Amex and seven charge cards I mean not seven ten it's funny because I'm like are they trying to get money you know what I mean like all the charge cards with American Express cost money <laughs> so there's that but four credit cards is not a bad amount you know what I mean uh, I mean of course I have five and uh, I'm grateful for that so I'm gonna chill with my five Jordan 23 WW says with her blessing I applied for Navy Federal cash rewards card for my wife and she was approved for fifty five hundred dollars awesome congratulations to your wife man that is cool love it when people get approved Um. Cinemadness says, this is the funny thing about my very first chase card is that it's probably the least important chase card. It's chase Starbuck Visa card. But hey, I have started a relationship with them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, cool. I mean, you're right. But it doesn't it doesn't matter. There's no reason to close it, especially if there's no annual fee, right? Uh, Luis says, do they have a SSFCU over there in Houston? No, sir. I don't know what F S S F C U is. I don't know which credit union that is. I tried getting a credit card with them and they denied me. So I asked them about a secured, which they do offer, but won't ever graduate you. That's ridiculous. That is, that's stupid, right? Like, what's up with that? That's, I, that's crazy to me. I don't even understand why people do that, to be honest with you. Um, Devin says, I was looking into the ink cash for 5% on phone services since I pay 2% two cell phone bills monthly since I'm disabled and can't drive. So I keep in touch with my family. Um, yeah. And that's one of the things that I like about the U.S. Cash Plus Visa Signature Card is you could choose a cell phone to get 5% cash back as well as utilities to get 5% cash back and a bunch of other categories. Those are the two categories that I use. Um, so, yeah. Um, Mel says, we haven't been hearing the horn like that anymore. Man, listen, the horn is still here, you know, alive and kicking. I just haven't, uh, I just haven't used it in a while, actually. And tonight, I definitely had reasons to use it, but, um, I didn't for whatever reason. But, hey, no, the horn's still working. <laughs> anyway, yes, sir. 
Uh, Trey says, I use my Amex card so much. I'm about to, I'm about, okay, 10,000 spend for um, 100 Delta credit, only 700 away. Um, do you believe there, there is a e easiest or hardest card to get approved for? Um, w what do I believe? What's the easiest or hardest card to get approved for? The Amex card or the Delta card? Let me know. Let me know, Trey. Uh, listen, guys, if you have questions, please be sure to ask them. Uh, I'm basically at the end of the comments here in the live stream. Uh, I see that we have 98 people with 116 thumbs up. I really appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate the love. Thank you guys, all the super chats, people that have sent me super chat. There's so many of you guys out there. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Uh, let me see if I can scroll through. And of course, thank you guys for smashing the thumbs up. I appreciate that a lot. Let me see if I can scroll, th scroll through and uh, thank the super chatters that's out there. Listen, if you don't want to do a super chat, you could always send money via cash app. My cash app information is on the screen. That's why I have it up there um, because, because uh, YouTube takes 30%. And uh, thank you guys for smashing the thumbs up. I saw that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, man, I'm scrolling through to look for these super chats and I'm not seeing any. Okay, Cakeology with the $10 super chat. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you very much. Um, I felt like I should have seen one before Cakeology, but maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't have. Um, scrolling down. Ronald Anderson, thank you for that $20 super chat. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much. Man, this, okay, I'm like, this thing don't, don't wanna work. Remember guys, if you have questions, please be sure to ask them, now's a good time. Um, I'll do my best to answer it as soon as I see it. Scrolling down to thank the super chatters. Lock it, thank you so much for that $29.99 super chat. I appreciate you very, very much. Chambe, thank you for that $5 super chat. I appreciate you, sir. Um, Twill Bunk, thank you for that $10 super chat. I appreciate you, sir. And I think that's it. Okay, sweet. Uh, listen, once again, guys, if you have questions, now's a great time. Okay, so Trey was asking about the Amex cards, and he was saying uh, the 10,000 spend Delta cards, only 100%. Uh, 700 away do you believe they're easier or harder card to get approved for um, I think Amex any once you're in with Amex I think you're all good um, you know it's it's a matter of waiting so like let's say you get with American Express and then like you're super excited you apply for your second card less than a month from getting your first card um, me I had I didn't I didn't have that experience I applied I got approved it was cool you know, I was fortunate. Some people, they get denied for their second card. But if that's the case, just wait 90 days. I don't think that it's hard to get American Express cards. It's very easy. Um, and I would just say that it's a time problem. Wait 90 days, use your card a lot, and then reapply. Um, Mel says, there we go. Question, are Bank of America credit cards worth getting? Yes, 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 yes. Any credit card is worth getting if you can justify using that card. If the sign-up bonus is something you want, I mean, at, at one point I was applying for credit cards just because that I wanted more available credit limit. I applied for the Apple card because it was an Apple card. I have a $6,500 credit limit. I don't even use it that much. I applied for the pedal card because they supposedly had it where you can kind of see what your limit was going to be before getting approved for the card. Supposedly you can apply for the card and it's like a soft inquiry to see if you're approved and they even tell you what your limit's gonna be. So I got that card. That card is nothing special, but I got it. It was another card to have credit limits. There's a lot of cards that I applied for just to get credit limits. And uh, the Bank of America cards are pretty good. The Cash Rewards card is good. That new Cash Rewards Secure card from Bank of America is also good. So I think Bank of America cards are good. Now the travel, the travel stuff regarding Bank of America cards, I don't know anything about. A lot of people don't spend time talking about like the Bank of America travel points portal, right? I don't even know if that's ever been done. Cinemadness says, I never thought about this, but someone said they should come out with cards with category cash back on pet expenses and medical bills. <laughs> I like you're like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, yeah, they should. 
maybe that should be one of the categories you can choose. Uh, that's very funny. Pet expenses and medical bills. That is that's very specific. But hey, I'm sure people have medical bills and pet expenses. Uh, that's funny. Ulysses, yeah, man, you're welcome for the birthday wish on June 12th. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Uh, to a bunk. Okay, says good to know. We'll use Cash App next time. Cool, man. I appreciate you, sir. Don't hesitate to ask any questions. Congratulations to you on your $500 Capital One Quicksilver card. I'm going to hit the horn for you. <laughs> yes, sir. That is awesome. Um, Devin says, how easy do you think it is to get the PayPal Cashback MasterCard? I think it's really easy. Um, I don't have any credit cards with PayPal, but they market to me all the time about that card, and I just haven't pulled the trigger on it. I haven't used PayPal in a while, so I feel like if they market to you, it's very likely that you'll get approved for that card. Mr. Suave99 says, what's going on, boss? I'm doing well, man. How are you, sir? Thanks for stopping by and taking the time to make a comment on video. Luis says, how would I go about paying a delinquent account that is not on my credit report? Five years ago, I had an account with Best Buy that went negative. I'm worried it if I pay it now, they'll put it back. Dude, if it's not on your credit report, I wouldn't sweat it. That's just how I feel about that. Kenneth says, being with Navy Federal Credit Union for 95 days now, when is the best time to ask for a credit limit increase? Um... If I were you, I wouldn't even ask for the increase. I would just apply for another credit card. That's what I would do. Um, if it's a soft inquiry, then then it's cool. If you can apply for a credit limit increase and it's a soft inquiry, it's cool. Um, but I would just consider applying for another card with them. Uh, but 95 days is plenty of time. You should be able to apply. You should be able to ask for a credit limit increase. Make sure it's a soft inquiry, though. Howard says the Starbucks, Starbucks Visa has a $49 annual fee. That's funny. My flagship card has a $49 annual fee. Jason, what's going on, man? Says, hey, D, good to see you, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate you stopping by the live stream, my brother. It's a pleasure to see you. Lando says, I'm pre-approved for the Bank of America Cash Rewards, and I already have the Bank of America card. Should I get the Cash Rewards or try to get two? Try to get my second Freedom uh, Chase, Freedom Unlimited. I'm currently, I currently have three inquiries. Would love your advice. Um, Great question. I feel like Chase is a better bank to have a relationship and you could always kind of circle back and get that Bank of America cash rewards. So I would go with Chase first. And then if you just, you know, can't help yourself and you have to have that cash rewards from Bank of America because they have a decent sign up bonus, maybe get that one like three months from three months after you get your Chase card. But I, I would definitely get the Chase card first between those two. Devin says, due to coronavirus, I've been looking into more credit because of lots of of online shopping due to uh, the stay home offers. Okay, cool, very cool. Um, <laughs> Luis says, uh, you have kids, bro, you don't look a day over 30. Uh, first of all, Luis, your check is in the mail for saying those kind words, my brother. Um, yeah, of course, I have a 17 year old who is going to be 18 in August. My son, uh, Dominic is turning 18 in August, and then I have a 16-year-old daughter. Her name is Camille. She is 16. She'll be 17 next February. So yeah, I got I got some kids for sure, for sure. Mel says, "Hey, Dwayne, I thought TD Bank was in Texas. I see none are in Houston. Wanted to open up an account uh, and with them and try to get the TD Secure card. I know they say it takes a while." For that car to graduate trust me i wish they were in texas as well they are they are not it's really sad really really sad i kind of screwed up my application with them because i applied and then i think i applied again using my brother's address which is in connecticut they do have branches in connecticut there's a branch right down the street from him in connecticut so um i was trying to get a car with them but uh td bank is a very good bank to go with especially with their secure card all right, cool, guys. Look, this is going to be it for me. I thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. I appreciate that. Uh, Jason is saying that it's a soft pull to get um, pre-approval offers uh, for Navy Federal. Um, Chris says, Dwayne, what is the next for you in your credit journey? More limits, more, a more cards, age. What is your end game? Um, I mean, for me, there there is not really an end game. I mean, it's just cool to get these cards and get these sign up offers. 
there, there's really no end game, especially since I have this channel too. I feel like, you know, sometimes I, I in the past, I have applied for cards strictly because I have the channel and I want to show people what's possible. Uh, it's very important for people to have somebody to look at or look up to. Um, and not necessarily because I want to, you know, be looked up to, but I just, people just need to know what's possible. And, um, and that's kind of why I, I do what I do. Tasha, thanks for stopping by. Tasha says, hey, Duane, I applied for the Apple card and got denied. My score was 718. According to them, I haven't seen it show on my credit report. They said it's a soft inquiry. I hope so. Um, Tasha, incredible profile prick picture. Uh, thanks for taking the time to comment. I'm sorry that you got denied for that card. And hopefully it won't show up on your credit score. That would be really, really cool. Um, Devin says, have a nice week. See you on the next stream. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, Devin. Thank you so much for stopping by and all the information that you have contributed in the live stream as well as Credit uh, Academy, Secured, Secured Credit Academy. Is that right? Secured Credit Academy. Uh, Andy, thank you so much. D Anderson, thank you so much. Thanks all of you guys that have been contributed in, in the live stream. Trey says, thanks, D, have for the great live and all the great uh, advance, bro. Stay well and be safe. Yes, sir, absolutely. Chris says, respect, thank you for your content. Absolutely. Listen, you guys have a great week. I will be back again at some point with videos this week. I'm sure I'll be making a stock market video um, at some point. Um, I definitely already have one. I have a couple that are already made that I'll probably not even edit and upload. But I'll probably let you guys know kind of what's been going on with me on the stock market side. Uh, so far, everything is good. Let's keep it that way. Uh, it's a trip, but I, I, I'm going to keep it going. Anyway, you guys have a great week. If I don't show up on another live stream, be sure to smash the thumbs up in this video on the way outside the door. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, Mel says, all right, D, holla at, holla at you, my brother. Thanks for the knowledge as always. Yes, sir. All right, cool. You guys have a great week. And uh, once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV, and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace. Later, guys. Have a good week.